Good morning everyone. Do my eyes look like I've been crying because I'm very tired. I've not been crying though, although it makes me feel like I want to cry now because I'm that tired. Last night was the Go Glam Gala and I had been so excited about this event for so long. I wanted to vlog for it, but I don't know what, I think I got myself quite worked up and I was quite stressed by the time I got down here. So I was just like, do you know what? Just enjoy it as much as you can and don't, um, don't worry about that. I just had the best time, like meeting so many people. I think like events like that are amazing. Like, I got to meet so many amazing bloggers and just so many amazing humans that I just had a brilliant, brilliant time. Um, it's unfortunately I was supposed to leave at 10 in the evening and we didn't leave until midnight and it's now four in the morning and we're getting picked up to go to Paris. But there is no way on earth that I am moaning because <laughs> I'm actually going to Paris with Armani Beauty, which is a little bit of a um, surreal moment for me. I can't believe that I'm saying that, but I am. And I'm honestly just so excited. I'm not gonna even try and play it cool. I'm so excited. So um, we're going there for an overnight stay. We're also gonna stay at a hotel that I've always wanted to stay in. It's the Peninsula. I think it's gonna be a really lovely trip. I just hope that I get some sleep on the train over there. So uh, yeah. <laughs> but our car has arrived, so I'm gonna get all my stuff together and head down to the lobby and get on our way. Hotels always have such tiny mirrors, but this is my outfit for the day. I've got me and M leather trousers on, uh, Christian Louboutin boots, this gilet that I got from Reese in the sale, I think it was reduced by like 500 pounds and it's shirling, and a jumper, woolly jumper, and then my new Dioram, I think it's Dioram, I didn't even ask to be honest. My new bag, but I think I'm gonna be selling my boy bag. Um, so yeah, I always do that from now, from time to time. I like will buy a bag and I'll be like, actually I prefer this one to the other one. There's no use me having two. I'm not a hoarder when it comes to like expensive things. I'm someone that like, if I don't wear it, it's gotta go. So um, always have a look on my Depop or just like, I don't know, Twitter. I always talk about stuff there. Anyway, I can't really like, Doodle because the car is downstairs, so let's go. <laughs> And we have actually got a room upgrade as well, which I've got a really long hair hanging off my arm. But we're now at Hotel Cost. We've come here for lunch before we head down to the Armani Beauty Studio, which I'm going to be going down there because basically I am here for the launch of their new Power Fabric Foundation. And um, I've just used it now and it feels amazing. It's much more of a like high coverage foundation, but um, we're going to be putting it to the test in the beauty studio a little bit later on. So we're going to grab some lunch and then we're going to head over there and spend the day playing with makeup. And I try to breathe. Call you 722 AM. Love the tone of your voice in the morning. I'm falling. We've had lunch and now it's time to experience the Armani Beauty Studio and I'm excited. We're going through some very grand doors. Do you think, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte, open the doors to the heaven's gateways. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Just having a little bit of a technical glitch. Can't actually get in at the moment. We're working on it, we're working on it. <laughs> We've arrived in the beauty studio and it's actually stunning. Like, there's just, look at this behind me. There's like a really beautiful plaque there. There's like studio lights and a mezzanine level and it just looks so lovely. So I'm excited to try out the foundation. I did try out one just subtly on my chin but it was a bit too light so I'm going to get colour matched properly and try out the new foundation. I'm also going to try out loads of other stuff as well for the brand. So this is a great way for me to find it out and just um, have someone do my makeup a lot better than I can do it because I'm not that great at doing makeup. <laughs> not my own anyway. Oh, you teach 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, this is where the nap happened. <laughs> this is a huge bed. This is so much bigger than our bed at home. And then you turn around here and there's like a little desk where Ali is doing some editing. And I love these doors. I don't know why I love these doors, but they're just like so robust. And look at this. I feel like Mariah Carey opening these like, oh. Obviously you need two hands, but whatever. <laughs> but then this is the sofa, which I really, really like this sofa actually. This is such a nice sofa. I'd probably love to have this in like um, an entrance hallway or something like that. Not that I have a house that has an entrance hallway, but if I ever did have a house with an entrance hallway, I would like a sofa like this in there. And then the lovely team at the peninsula gave us this amazing smashed chocolate. And I've already started on the little chocolate beads. And then they put my little blog logo on here. That was so nice. I walked in, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the small things that really do impress me. <laughs> and then all in here is like the coffee and the TV, which opens like that, which again is very, very smooth. And the mini bar. Good morning everyone, Ali and I have had a bit of a lazy morning, even though we fell asleep fairly normal time last night, it was a bit difficult waking up, um, it's still that kind of like jet lag issue, but we did get to sleep at a normal time which was brilliant. I'm about to get ready because we're going to go and shoot some bits for Ali and then we're going to do a little bit of shopping and just have a look around Paris really and um, just enjoy a day, but I thought that I would um, quickly just show you the new foundation um, on my face, like me applying it myself, because because I do it a little bit differently to a makeup artist would. I just kind of throw it at my face. But I know what I like about foundations and I know what I don't like about foundations. So I just thought rather than show you a full, like get ready with me, I'll just show you that me applying it and what I do to like put it on, what I think of it and then it's kind of like the finished result. And, you know, because it was really weird, like last night I was sat at dinner and I was like, Ali, it really feels like this foundation is like secure, like I can touch my face and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, he obviously thought I was mental telling him that because why did he care? <laughs> I just realised I was really zoomed in then, um, which was completely unnecessary. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get ready and um, just enjoy a day in Paris and take some pictures of Ali, which is a lovely thing to do when he's not being bossy. I look really tired still. Anyway, let's go and get ready. So to prep my skin, I'm going to use the Armani Prima Glow On Moisturizing Balm, which has just kind of become the starting point of my everyday kind of makeup. And um, it just really does hydrate my skin and leave it kind of like balmy looking, but not greasy looking for when I apply my foundation. Then I'm going to prime my skin with the Touche Clat Blur Primer from Yves Saint Laurent. I've only just started using this. It was in my makeup bag and I kept like forgetting to use it to try it out. So I've been using this for the past couple of days and um, it seems very, very nice. So um, I'm kind of gonna be using it a little bit more, I think. I just kind of pop it in like my T-zone area. Then I go in with the By Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum. looking a little bit more glowy now. <laughs> then finally, I'm going to go in with the new Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. Now this looks so dark, it's insane. This is shade eight, but I've not actually applied this myself in daylight. It looked great when we used it in the studio and last night, so I'm gonna try it again. But the one that I was given was way, way, way too light. So um, let's give it a go. It's my usual three to four pumps of foundation, which I didn't think was a lot of foundation. Like I've watched girls on Instagram and on YouTube, 
like do so like they look incredible and their skills are amazing but they do put like quite a few different like layers on and things like that so I was always like oh gosh I don't know how to do that with my makeup like I'm not that good so I thought that I didn't really wear a lot but um on my last video people were saying that I wear too much so I, maybe I do wear a lot of makeup I don't know but this is just what I feel comfortable with so I guess that like if you're gonna wear foundation or um, makeup in any way you just kind of wear what you feel comfortable with and um, don't try not to let anyone uh, tell you how much you should or shouldn't wear it's whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever you think looks good so yeah even though this looks so dark in the bottle on my face it's a perfect match for my tan. So this foundation is the like full coverage foundation from Giorgio Armani and it's like their newest one. They're kind of referring to foundations as outfits. And this is the one that's kind of like your power suit, like your power jacket. You know when you put on a really, really good jacket and you just feel confident and you walk taller? Well, this is apparently supposed to be like the makeup equivalent. Like when you've got this foundation on your face, um, you feel confident, you feel put together, like you feel like you walk taller. And yeah, so that's the whole sort of like reasoning behind the power fabric. So this is it front on and the finish kind of like layer I've not done concealer under my eyes or anything like that the color match for me is absolutely perfect it matches my neck perfectly and um, it feels very very secure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and then tell you what I think of the finished kind of like finish um, when it's like all set in with powder and bronzer and all of that stuff so um, I'll speak to you in a bit so I'm all dressed and ready to go I just like touched up the waves in my hair a little bit but this foundation I keep saying to Ali I'm like this this foundation is amazing it looks so flawless on my face it's not like got any radiance to it or anything like that so you can add that in if you want but it is like a full coverage long wear foundation and I feel just like my face is just oh. I do know that Giorgio Armani are kind of like known for their foundations they are always good so I was expecting it to be amazing but I, I didn't expect it to be this good <laughs> So I'm probably going to be wearing this a lot more because it's so, so lovely. So this is the jumper and it's just really big and oversized and it's a little bit kind of like elasticated to the bottom, which is quite good actually, although I think I still would prefer it if it was loose, um, but it does preserve like your modesty and it actually sits really nicely on the boots. So there's hardly any leg showing. Um, obviously I've got my Stuart Weitzman boots on because I live in them and I love them and they're comfortable and they've got a heel on them and um, I just, yeah, love them so I'm gonna wear them loads. Uh, but yeah, this is the jumper, so I will have linked it down below but it costs like 35 pounds so I couldn't really, like, not. <laughs> So yeah, this is the outfit and I got this uh, gilet from Reese in the sale. It was reduced from like seven, eight hundred pounds to like 350 pounds and it's super warm seeing as it's freezing here in Paris. And then I've got my new bag that you might have seen. This is the Diorama, I think. And I got it in the sort of dove grey colour, which is very typical of Dior. And then I also got my little name bow, which I'm lucky because it's a nice one because some of them aren't that nice which is a real shame but this one I just thought was so nice and actually really complimented the bag so yeah I picked that up in Harrods and the girl that served me was so nice we're gonna go shopping and then we're gonna go maybe get some like hot chocolate somewhere and um, just enjoy our day in Paris because um, it's the only full day that we've got here to ourselves including when I come back next week so yeah let's go enjoy ourselves so we've just finished up shooting and it took a little bit longer than we expected but we are now heading out shopping and we're going to get some food and stuff like that. It is such a beautiful day here in Paris. Like literally we couldn't have hoped for a more beautiful day. Look at that sunlight. Blue sky. Look at it's that. It's quite cold. <laughs> it is quite cold still, I'm not going to lie, but it is nice and sunny so win. I hope it's like this when I come back on Monday. Don't know how it slips out There must be some 
<laughs> oh my gosh, so we were just stood outside of Dior in Paris and we're next to the Boy George stuff, like the Boy George campaign and he's literally in that car there, in that black one. His friend just got out and took a picture and he waved at me. Oh my God, that was such good timing. That was so cool. I gotta realize that you have fallen out. So I'll take my chances tonight. I gotta choose fight instead of flight. It's really amazing how you got it. So I just thought I would show you quickly what I got in Dior because I know how it annoys you if I don't show you what I got. So these are a pair of earrings that I wanted for ages and I realised you couldn't get them in England, you could only get them in Paris. So um, these are the silver version with the signature Dior pattern on the larger ball. They don't have the pearl in them, they are completely hollow. Um, but I thought that I could mix and match these with the pearls from my other pair and just make them a bit different. I wanted to sort of like change up and just do something a little bit different. So when I saw that I could get these in Paris, I went hunting for them and I found them. And they retail for 360 pounds. But yeah, so I bought these in the Dior store on Rue La Montagne. I think that's the one, I don't know. God, my French is bad. So that's it, our stay in Paris has come to an end. Our car is about to pick us up and we're gonna get the Eurostar back home. But I'm only at home for Sunday and then on Monday morning I am back here at the peninsula for another trip with Galan and then for I'm staying on for a trip with um, Jean-Paul Gaultier as well. So I'm gonna be spending a couple more days at the peninsula and I'm very, very excited to be back in Paris. I have no more trips planned after this so I'm gonna spend some quality time at home because I miss my cat so much. <laughs> Um, I will leave the vlog here. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below because I do three videos a week and um, I would love to see you back here. So I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.